Hello, <clears throat> my name is Professor Kevin Hardy and today in this short presentation we're going to discuss um, one of the groups of treatments for tablet treatments for type 2 diabetes, the gliptins, of which there are many. Um, it's important to say at the outset that this is a very brief summary and will not cover all aspects of the drug and you should never take any tablet before reading the information leaflet supplied with the tablet to make sure that it's okay for you. Basically, you will then know about the drug, you will know about yourself, and it's that combination which determines whether or not the drug is suitable for you. If you're unsure, don't take the tablet until you've checked with your doctor. Gliptins have been used in the treatment of type 2 diabetes for some years now. As I say, there are a fairly large number of them, <clears throat> such as cytogliptin, allogliptin, vildagliptin, linagliptin. I think you get the idea. They all end with gliptin. Gliptins are often used in combination with other treatments, including other diabetes tablets and insulin, but gliptins are not used with GLP-1 injections. They are expressly contraindicated with GLP-1 injections. How do gliptins work? Gliptins prevent the breakdown of a hormone called glucagon-like peptide 1, GLP-1. And so because it's not being broken down, the levels of GLP-1 in the tissues increase. And the increase makes um, the body produce more insulin, delays passage of food through the bowel, and um, perhaps alters appetite. Gliptins do not cause weight gain, and gliptins do not cause very low blood sugars, hypoglycemia. When should gliptins not be used? Gliptins must not be used with GLP-1 injections, and they must not be used in pregnancy. Gliptins should be avoided after diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA, pancreatitis, or heart failure. Glyptin dose typically needs reducing in kidney impairment. What's the dose? Well, that varies from tablet to tablet, so it's not possible to say without going through each individual tablet, which I don't propose to do here. Glyptin should be stopped if you get or have ever had diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. <clears throat> if you suspect uh, a glyptin is causing side effects, stop it and discuss the issue with your doctor so that you can come to an agreement about whether it's safe to restart the drug or whether it should be stopped permanently. As with any drug, the list of potential side effects is long and I'm just going to co cover a couple of the more common side effects here. The most common side effect of gliptins is headache. Less commonly, of course, they can cause constipation, dizziness, skin reactions. But as I say, there's a long list and you must check the drug information leaflet to familiarise yourself with that list. In summary, gliptins are a useful tablet in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. They're often used in combination with other diabetes treatments. They're not for everyone and always check the drug leaflet before starting any tablet.